Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy, and I'm so happy you're here with me. Today, I'm going to show you a quick, easy, and affordable way to make your very own glam Christmas stocking using dollar store materials. To start, I will list out the materials, and unless otherwise stated, all the materials are from Dollar Tree or Dollarama. We will need two super soft microfiber cloths in white, a large ornament letter in silver or gold or whatever color you can find that you like. We will also need some silver ribbon of your choice. Here are some samples of what you could use. And this beautiful metallic silver one is from Amazon. You could also find similar rhinestone ribbon from the dollar store in smaller quantities if you prefer. And to help us with today's craft project, we will also need our handy dandy glue gun. My glue gun was purchased from Amazon. To begin, lay out one of the microfiber cloths flat onto your work surface. Then either draw out a stocking or you can also do what I did, which is taking an old stocking and using it as a template. Here I'm using a marker to dot an outline of the stocking. However, my suggestion is rather than using a black marker like I did, go for a silver metallic gray marker instead so the dotted markings aren't so pronounced, but still visible enough to use as a guide to cut the shape of the stocking. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in to today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Once you have the first stocking marked off, use a good pair of scissors to cut out the shape of the stocking. My suggestion is to cut towards the outer border of your markings and keep your stocking longer at the top as we will want to use the extra cloth to fold it down later. Once you have the first stocking shape cut out, you will need to make a second cutout. You can use the first cutout as a template for the second cutout. Play around with the positioning until you are happy with it and then start marking off the shape to cut the second piece. Once the second piece is cut out, place the two pieces back to back and start gluing the edges together with some hot glue. For this step, you will want to take sections of the stocking and fold the edges inwards about a centimeter or less. Then apply some hot glue on the folded area and adhere the folded pieces together to form a seam. 
Because we will need to repeat this all around the stocking, I suggest doing small sections at a time, but make sure you keep the opening at the top unglued. Once all the seams have been glued together, fold over the top about 3 to 4 inches. Once that is done, use any silver ribbon of your choice to decorate the folded portion of the stocking.
I apply a different type of silver metallic ribbon to the sides of the stocking to cover the seams. This will add an extra punch of glam to our stocking. Next, glue down a letter to the front center of the stocking. The final step is to create a hook so the stocking can be hung. For this step, I have chosen to use some of the leftover microfiber cloth and will hand sew it into the top left corner of the stocking. If you prefer, you can simply sew or glue on a small string of ribbon instead.
the final look for our glam Christmas stocking. Comment down below and let me know if you will be making your own Christmas stocking this year. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon! We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you.